Hi, this is Prithpal Bogil. I am a principal architect with Apigee's pre-sales team. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can implement the password grant type uh, using out-of-the-box OAuth policies from Apigee Edge. Let's take a look. Apigee supports a variety of different grant types out-of-the-box for OAuth 2.0, such as the client credentials, OAuth, uh, auth code, password grant, and implicit grant. Today, I'm going to be covering the password grant type. So for the password grant type, a couple things you need to know is, first thing is it's a trusted app which is trying to make a request to uh, a specific API which needs to be protected. In that case, you need to first assert and validate and authenticate the user which is uh, being uh, asked to be authenticated. So in this case, I'm using the Apigee Baz out here. As you know, it has a uh, built-in user store, so you can go into this portal. This is the Apigee Bass portal. Click on the plus sign, give a username, a full name, and you can also store passwords out here. So this is the user Apigee test that I'm going to be using uh, for this uh, quick test out here. So you can see that's my email address, which is also the username, and I've entered in a password. And this is where I'm going to assert the identity against. Okay, let's hover over into the, the API proxy real quick. So this is the OAuth API proxy. As you can see, it exposes a couple of different uh, endpoints. One is to refresh the access token. The other is to uh, get the access token. If I click on the develop tab here, you can see that it has a few different policies. In this case, the very first policy, which is a conditional policy, I am uh, taking, collecting the username, the password, and the grant type, which is passed in. And then I make a call out to the backend as a service token endpoint to validate uh, this user. And if that user is uh, valid, when I get a 200 uh, response code back from the uh, backend service, then I generate the access code uh, within Apigee. As you can see, there are a variety of different kinds of other OAuth policies. All I've used out here is a simple OAuth 2.0 policy, like this one out here. And, and I've just kind of specified the different grant types. Okay, so let's take it for a spin. I'll be clicking on the start race session. I'll bring up my, uh, I'll bring up my uh, Postman tool out here. I'll click on the password grant request that I pre-set up. You can see I'm clicking uh, and entering the exact same URL passing in the type of grant, uh, grant type of password. Couple things you should know for the password grant type. I have the, uh, the grant type specified here. You do need to set the authorization header. And basically the authorization header is nothing but a base 64 of your client ID colon the client secret, okay? So you can just use this utility to uh, get that. Once you get that, you enter the basic authorization header here. And then in the body, you can see I've passed in the username of that uh, resource and the password. So let's click on send. You can see once I hit on send, I get uh, the access token back from Apigee. If you hover over in the back here, you can see as the request comes in, it makes a call to the backend endpoint, passing in the username and password, and then it gets a 200 error code, uh, response code back, in which case everything is good and then APG will generate its access token, which you see back in the response. If, however, I was to just enter an invalid uh, password as an example, you can see right away the uh, service fails and no access token is issued. Well, that's it for today.